All right, so here we go. Ladle Boys in the blue, MK2 Esports in the orange. So let's see who's going to be able to come out victorious. Will it be the upper seed or will we see an upset? We haven't seen one yet in our first few matches of tier three, but it's going to be an exciting one here for sure. Yeah, and the uh, Ladle Boys coming out with the cheeky names as well. We got all types of soups there. I'm, I'm telling you, they, they passed the vibe check earlier, but man they are certainly doing it already with the names here spicy soup here up for an aerial already knocked away by wendy though so the defense is coming through as you predicted early earlier sparky yeah definitely going to be the name of the game at least for game one i think it gives them a chance to feel each other out we're seeing some slower pace play we're not really seeing them go aggressive either side of the field but i gotta agree the uh the food names are just all over even wendy with the chicken mcnuggets and you got all the soup names over on the Lego boys it's quite interesting uh names here yeah, it's like when you head into a party and you don't know that there was a predetermined uh, attire. Semper and Radix are just showing up to the game like, wait, what did I miss? Um, but either way, Semper doing it off the wall there, trying to get a pass out to his teammate, but Lentil Soup immediately getting in front of that ball, knocking it away, and Demo's coming across the full court. Almost a shot there for the ladle boys coming through, but it's knocked away. They want to continue the pressure though. Spicy Soup trying to get a shot up, but immediately cleared away. Lentil, that's going to be off target as well. And now the shots are coming through, Sparky. Yeah, so far we're seeing little boys starting to pick up the pace on offense. You can tell they're getting comfortable here in the orange zone. And we've seen uh, through some of our games that one team does just kind of control the pace of things. And right now we see MK2 Esports kind of stuck on the back foot. But now an opportunity starting to arise here. But Lentil Soup going to clear that one out as Semper clears it off the back wall. Yeah, look at this. I mean, see this a lot in game one, especially Sparky, is both teams are just trying to size up their opponent, figure out their strengths, their weaknesses, and there's a weakness on the ladle backline. No, the MK2 backline right now. As uh, somehow, Spicy Soup, right position, right time for that shot, puts it through, and finally, we've got our first goal of the series here. A kind of an awkward defensive play there as we saw i can't tell if somebody got bumped or if uh somebody just got tripped up on the post but regardless it leads to that first goal as we approach the halfway point spicy soup trying to clear it out wendy off the corner good clear by lentil as it's going to go to spicy french onion moving in and it feels like we're taking orders here at a restaurant as we keep calling these soup names <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it, but these uh, these players are hungry for some goals. Semper especially is going to get his appetite here on this shot. Look at him get right in front of the pass. Notices there's a gap off the backboard there. Put the top corner inside. Perfect placement to pick up their first goal in this series. Tied up with about half the game to go, but... I have a feeling we're going to see many more goals come through as the pace certainly has picked up in the last minute or so. Yeah, we're starting to see a little bit more aggressive play coming out from both teams as we're starting to get more comfortable with how they play. Still kind of seems a little sloppy, though, coming out from the MK2 side as we see everybody on just one end of the field here. A good demo by Spicy, but it's not going to matter as Semper gets a second goal just in a matter of 30 seconds. He is pulling out all the stops this time around. Right place, right time there uh, as the ball came out from the ceiling, but the perfect touch to set himself up for a shot there. That's a good play from Semper there. And now MK2 finding themselves in the lead. So, hey, sloppy or not on a couple plays. They do have the lead. They just need to hold on to it now. But with a minute 45, I don't know that that's going to be an easy task. We'll have to find out a beautiful shot from Spicy off the crossbar. And now Lentil going to try and feed it back around. Now Semper looking to slow things down a little bit. Looking for his teammate in the middle. He hits it to Radix, but Spicy will intercept. It's going to be wide just a little bit so Wendy doesn't have to worry about making that touch. And now Wendy looking to take control and get the counterattack started. Oh, Semper coming in with the demo. Almost a shot as well, but it's immediately cleared away by Lentil. 
Almost turning out to be a great pass, but uh, Spicy is going to pick it up and double commit for the save. It's going to leave a gap open. French Onion almost converts the shot, but somehow the defense for MK2 is able to get back, but the pressure has not ceased. French Onion with the shot is wide as well, and they're just struggling to get this ball out of their half, but it finally makes its way into the blue end. Semper with another shot. It's almost put into the goal. That save was barely off the post and the uh, ladle boys would just barely stay alive the shot there wide again spark are they ever can you get something to convert here just 30 seconds remaining right now the post is definitely stepping up on either side but just like that semper invictus he gets the hat trick and could be the one to put this game away putting it out of reach a good shot it looks like uh french onion soup getting tripped up in the net there trying to get back into position couldn't get there though 25 seconds left on the clock and it's a 3-1 lead for the number six seed so many great opportunities there and there's one off the kickoff or oh, ladle boys finally one will fall in the back of the net wow the cheat by french onion leaves him with the perfect opportunity you got to be rethinking that uh kickoff strategy sparky as the uh, mk2 team left the goal wide open yeah, I mean, it's kind of tough because you should, I think with threes, you should always have somebody cheating up. That way you can have somebody get the boost. But, I mean, it de just depends on your play style. If you have somebody who's going to win a good kickoff for you back to your end, you could set up a counterattack or you just varies based on what you do. But it looks like we're going to get an OT here in game number one. Got to be kidding me. This is some clutch play style. They knew they had to show out the aggression, but... How? Tell me how Rental touches that ball so that it stops mid-track right in front of the net for them to finish off. And uh, two seconds left here, and uh, Sparky, I think you're right. We might see overtime unless there's a complete show out here. Ladle Boys are trying to find an opportunity here, and it is knocked down on the ground. Sparky, we got overtime. Yes, we do. So here we go on the kickoff. The speed flip coming out from Semper. He's going to try and get it out of the corner into the middle to Radix, but he ends up losing control of the ball and Lentil now taking it. Semper cutting off his teammate. That's going to be the goal. The win in 12 seconds. What a comeback and to finish it off with just some icing on the cake. Lentil just did not stop pushing forward there. Picked up the pass from his opponent and knocked it right in there incredible team effort from the soups the ladle boys they just showed out towards the end there and it grabbed them the win i've got to say sparky ladle boys tons of great team plays look at the scores evenly spread out but on the mk2 side i'm hearing a lot about semper but i'm not hearing as much from the other teammates could that be part of the reason they just fell short here um i don't know if that's part of the reason it could be that they just he is that offensive pressure that they have. Um, so, I mean, you take a look. They all played very well on defense. You see that he had four shots, only one for Wendy. But Wendy had two assists in there as well. So it's not really necessarily that he's doing it all. But it's more, I think, that he is that offensive presence that they have. We saw Spicy. And I, I like the comment. I, whoever put it in there, uh, BlackBro 2 k 6 Spicy is nicey. Seven shots, one in uh, the net. I mean, it's unfortunate that it was only one, but you could take a look. They didn't have to play a lot of defense. Only one save, but again, that's not not great considering they gave up three goals there. So I think the big thing that you need to see come out from MK2 Esports is trust. They need to start trusting each other a little bit more because that's what happened as uh, Semper was coming back on the rotation in OT. He thought he could take it. He didn't really trust his teammate for it, cut him off, and that's what led to that goal. So we are 1-0 in the series for Ladle Boys going into game two. Game two, let's kick things off. Ladle Boys again off the kickoff, almost goes in, but who then, who better than Semper to be in front of that to save it? And uh, now they'll be on the counter attack. That ball coming up off the corner, looking like a great pass. Semper is there, but the shot doesn't go in. Lento breaks it up almost immediately, and that hit somehow booming its way across the field. French Onion trying to get an aerial here. It's off target, though. And uh, MK2 just trying to regain possession here, Sparky. There will be the clear. Try and get things going for him. 
really good clear by wendy can't do anything though so really right now what we're seeing is we're not seeing a lot of possession coming out from mk2 esports a good passing play from french onion out of the corner to lentil but he can't put it home hits the crossbar and now spicy moving in but we're seeing some really good plays uh good use of the backboard so far by the ladle boys and they put the first goal in here just a minute into the game he said it before, Sparky, trust, and look at what we see on the defensive end for MK2. A lack of it. Yet another double commit for the save there from MK2. They've got to be working on those comms. Start talking to each other. Tell each other who's going for what. And <laughs> oh, we got a rule uh, one. So we move to a 2v2. Yeah, so let's see, who is that that's in there? It's Wendy and uh, was it Spicy? Uh-huh. All right, so it should be interesting. See, oh no, it's not spicy. It's lentil. Oh, I thought you meant it was on the field. Yeah, no, 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 spicy. No, no, uh, we're gonna pick this one up and go for the shot. That one almost in, but saved by Radix. But another Ooh. one off the post. It's in for French Onion. Took a little tour around the net. Thought it, you know, tap both posts before French Onion decided to finally slam it home. The two v two going in the favor of the Ladle team. So Ladle Boy is now up 2 nothing on the game. Minute and a half in, so still plenty of game left. By the way, real quick, say I uh, want to say hello to Actual Dessert. How you doing, man? Thanks for popping in. It's going to be a 3 nothing game. And just like that, the Ladle Boys are just dominating. Someone brewed the broth to perfection tonight. Got a few soups that are just popping off tonight. They are hot and they are here to play 3-0. Just a minute 30 into this game too. Yeah, they definitely cooked up a recipe for success here. But we'll see if it's going to continue. We're seeing double commits galore still coming out from MK2. That's definitely something they've got to clean up if they want to make a comeback. They're struggling on the defensive end. A great play though. Great transition from Radix leading to that goal. Wendy staying perfectly in position in the center of the field. We see a little bit of hesitation from French Onion Soup and an attempt at the squishy save from Lentil, but not going to happen. So now they're on the board. 307 on the clock. They're only down two. Definitely looks a lot more reasonable of a gap. That's for sure. Indeed, cutting that deficit now to two. And uh, Wendy doesn't have chicken McNuggets now getting himself or herself on the board there. We saw a couple of assists last game, but now finally uh, getting on the board there for MK2. So that's certainly going to be looking good for them as they try to continue the streak now. They've got possession just a bit here. They're trying to turn into an opportunity. Semper mid-court. It's knocked away by Spicy and a double off the wall there is going to send it back towards the orange half here. Radix trying to take advantage of that, but it's knocked in front of the net and almost in there for the soups. And here they go again. Spicy off the wall. Went to the follow, but it's knocked away yet again. Ladle boys keep on trying. Will they come up with a fourth? You can definitely tell the Ladle Boy is feeling really good with their backboard plays right now, and they're able to punish them uh, coming out from MK2. They're not able to execute the same way. We've seen them double commit off of those a couple times now throughout this, and so they just keep pounding that back wall. Another opportunity into the corner. It goes up in the air. Nobody's going to challenge as Wendy tries to get control. Radix pops it up for Semper. Semper looking for the shot. Hit, hits it just wide as French Onion looking to start the counter. Seeing some uh, unique plays come out for MK2, though. I can tell they're trying to switch it up as one player just went for the demo, try and kick out the defenders to create the gap. And I like the different types of play styles. You got to switch it up, change it up when you're playing the same team over and over again. Adapt, you know, um, and try to knock them where it hurts. So they're trying to get goals here wherever it counts, but they're going to have to do it a little bit quicker there as they almost let up a goal here and they still have two more to convert that shot from French Onion will not connect and now Semper has a shot opportunity the 50 goes towards Radix but he can't come up with it Wendy now knocked off the wall and Lentil trying to get it going for the soups French Onion back to Lentil Lentil with the hit off the walls could be a shot opportunity Wendy knocks it away though so great defensive effort to keep Ladle Boys at bay but Sparky they gotta come up with some goals and quick 
Yeah, right now they're struggling to get the offense going as we see a couple times here and there, but we're seeing the Little Boys play some pretty solid defense, able to counter it pretty quickly and then get moving. A good shot placement by Semper gets around one, but Lentil is back. <laughs> Now 30 seconds left, 3-1 still on the board as MK2 trying to see if they can get something started. A pinch attempt, but it ends up going awry. Spicy out of the corner, good clear by Semper. Anybody to follow, Wendy trying to come in, but it will be Lentil trying to take control. And now we see Semper just dive out of position. Pop up as it's an opportunity, can't put on target. 10 seconds left to go, and I think that's going to be game number two. Yeah. A few seconds left here for them to put something on, but just won't go. And Sparky, this is great gameplay for MK2. I mean, we've seen later boys just start popping off, putting goal on here and there. It was looking like it was going to be a blowout at the start of this game when three goals were scored in the first minute and a half. But MK2 able to knock in a goal, keep later boys at bay. If they continue to do this throughout the series, they will find success, but... In terms of this game, it was just too little too late. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the MK2 got too far behind too quickly. Uh, so the big thing, they need to just get that offense moving. And Little Boys is rotating so quickly. They're doing a great job of controlling the ball and where it goes. We're not seeing as much of that from MK2. We see people trying to look downfield and stuff like that. And Little Boys are doing a great job at being able to transition from defense to offense. And that's where these goals have come through. They've been able to take advantage of the slower pace from MK2 and put that home. By the way, real quick, I see a couple people just hopped in. So welcome, world. Welcome, Corey. And we have the man, the myth, the mustache hopping in here, rooting on for the Ladle Boys. I know he's a big fan of them because uh, he, I think he casted their championship match, uh, if I am correct. And the surfer went down for maintenance, so we have to remake it. I think we've had each series so far, we've had to remake the server. Yeah, that'll happen. Nobody's uh, really surprised with that when it comes to the Rocket League servers, but... You know, it doesn't stop the gameplay. Think of it as a uh, TV timeout or uh, <laughs> something like that for your traditional sports. Here in esports, you don't get injuries, you don't get timeouts, but you do get servers going down. So that'll happen and uh, gives the players a little bit of time to refresh and start taking them on. So just like that, server back up, game three on its way. So here we go, heading down to the field. This is do or die here for MK2 Esports. A chance at the semifinals on the line. Winner moves on to face the number two seed Crossbars who won last night in a thrilling game five OT. But we're not worried about the semifinals yet. We've got this match coming up. The last game potentially if MK2 can't pull out the win. What a read by Spicy off the back wall. Can't get up for it. So Semper will be able to get the clear attempt. Yeah, the soups coming out with shots out the gate just like they did in game two. But the difference here is MK2 is back there on the goal line to make these saves. This is exactly what I was talking about. They need to continue oh, that defensive efforting, turn them into offensive opportunities like they almost did. But now they're caught out of the net on the breakaway. Spicy soup converting for their first goal here. You saw the light at the end of the tunnel and just gun for it. And there they go, first goal here in game three. I'm not sure who got the demo or which side it was on, but that demo definitely played a role into leaving that net wide open on the backfield. We are seeing the uh, MK2 Esports squad getting a little bit more aggressive. You see the rotations are creeping up. Wendy coming in off two misses and able to put it in, making it now one to one as we're still within that first minute of play. Yeah, for MK2, the difference maker here for them is going to be fighting back earlier. And they're finally doing it here in Game 3. So I see their chances here in extending this series past Game 3 a little better than I initially did. Here they are tying things up and now trying to make a play off the wall here. Keep things out of the danger zone. Semper does that well and good takes it all the way down the line but it's eventually broken up spicy soup to lentil off the ceiling it's gonna be past the goal line and towards the other side of the field but now the ball back in the danger zone spicy trying to get to that will knock it away can he be up for the shot it's on target it's almost past him but radix with the save wendy's gonna pick it up now but sparky these ladle boys will not quit the onslaught continues 
again it's that speed they are very quick they're very smooth with their rotations and that is what's working out really well for them throughout this one we're seeing a little bit cleaner play coming out from mk2 but it's they've got to really just push harder and harder to be able to overcome this ladle boys attack they've got another opportunity but french onion with the awkward side flip there so it could open up a gap here as spicy unable to make contact now semper booming it off the back wall looking for a shot himself hits the crossbar wendy will make it in making it a 2-1 lead for mk2 mk2 they can kind of take a deep breath now a little bit of relief has been allowed for them as they find their first lead in quite some time uh let's see if they can make it work the last time they were up uh in the lead there uh later boys came in with a hot comeback to eventually win game one so let's see if they can hold on to it this time yeah it was what a 3-1 lead i think for mk2 so mm -hmm. definitely no lead is safe because they ended up winning an ot but we still have over half this game left to go as lentil takes that 50 with semper now Radix diving in, really tough positioning here as they're both in the same spot. Pass to Wendy, very aggressive, almost gets beat downfield, but now Spicy has a wide open look. Radix, the only man back, will challenge and clear that one downfield. MK2 barely making these saves happen, but barely is all you need if you can keep it out of your goal and you'll stay in a lead here. That's exactly what they need to do. Lentil coming in for the shot immediately, broken up by Wendy there. Radix trying to keep it going, get it out of there. Semper will come in for reinforcements and try and make a play off the wall. That's going to be off the backboard, but not in great scoring position is the uh, MK2 team. And now it's put out by the Ladle Boys. Semper picking it back up. Can he make a play up off the wall here? He certainly has the boost. The pass comes out midfield, but French Onion knocking it down. And this could be an opportunity for him. No, it's knocked away from Wendy's. And uh, playing a little ping pong here between the players as the ball just being cleared from one end of the field down to the other. Yeah, as you said, definitely not a lot of possession going on. We're seeing a lot of just throwing the ball back and forth. And that's kind of been the bread and butter for the Ladle Boys is where they've been able to get control and set up plays on offense. We haven't seen that too much throughout game three. And we see them behind, so that might be a direct factor to the score. But a double commit on the orange end here. And Wendy, thankfully, doesn't have to worry about any pressure. is able to get back before somebody from the Ladle Boys gets there. That was certainly MK2's demise, uh, especially in game one where all those double commits we saw from MK2, they have certainly cleaned up their act as of late, but they are going to have to continue to straighten things up, especially on the comms, so that that kind of thing doesn't happen again. They've worked for this lead so hard. They're holding on to it barely. They just got to do it for another 30 seconds, Sparky. Yeah, it definitely looks like panic starting to set in. We're seeing positioning all over the place here for MK2. Shot from Spicy ties the game up with 25 seconds left to go. And who better than Spicy Soup? The missed clear or a bit of a misplay as a soft touch comes out from uh, MK2. And uh, Spicy Soup taking advantage of it really quick. And uh, will we head into overtime? I don't know. We'll Not to see, unless there's a goal scored here. That double commit, again, coming out was the issue. A beautiful half volley shot from Spicy, unfortunately, is going to be wide of the net. Pass into the middle off the 50. Spicy coming in for the touch, but Semper dives across the net, making that save. And now an opportunity yet again for the Lado boys. They are just relentless here in the final seconds. And this could be the game winner here as it's off the back wall. Radix will put it down. So OT in game three. And to answer your question, uh, actual dessert, it is Spyro joining me here in the booth tonight. Yeah, what up? Overtime again. MK2, you got to clutch up here and now. They couldn't do it in game one. They lost pretty handily in game two, but it's now or never for MK2. They got to make things happen here. Semper trying to get that shot off, but it's a bit of a missed touch. And now, dangerous opportunity there, but Wendy's able to de-escalate the situation. Semper 
back down towards Wendy. Wendy up off the wall. Can he get a pass out to Semper? Maybe. It's knocked away by Spicy Soup. French Onion trying to pick it up, and he'll do just that. Ball headed down the line. Radix making a stop, but can't pick it back up. Ball off the back wall. Rental is up, but cannot connect on the shot. Wendy's trying to punish him for it. <laughs> oh, man. It's knocked away again. Sparky is going to come up with his final goal. It's getting, it's getting really close. I mean, there are some opportunities that are there for MK2, but they just have not been able to put them home. But then again, on the other side, the little boys have had so many close calls now in the first minute of OT. I'm getting flashbacks of last night, five and a half minutes in a game five OT. <laughs> but we're at minute 13 on the clock as now it looks like French Onion gets the dunk. Spicy, can he get it on target? He's going to put it just wide in towards the corner. Lentil with the shot at the bottom corner. And Semper will make the save. Looking for the clear, but French Onion right there. So we're just hanging out in this orange corner, trying to find out a way out. Yeah, my eyes have been on Semper here. He's coming off the wall and spicy as well. They seem to be the playmakers for these two teams and the two players that clutch up in these uh, high stakes situations. So I'm trying to predict a goal from either of those players. And uh, MK2 can just not get this ball out of their own half until that massive clear comes away from Semper. Now off the corner, the shot coming in for Semper is too wide. Spicy does get the clear out, but Wendy's not done. Almost over French Onion, but a great clear from them adapting to the play. And Radix can't get it from... It's a shot from Lentil, and it's in! That's going to be it, folks. Ladle Boys with your final goal. Two minutes into overtime. Lentil with an absolute clanger. It's going to find the back of the net, and Ladle Boys are your winners, Sparky. What a shot. Unfortunately, I mean, good read. Radix made the right read, but unfortunately could not make the contact. The momentum was going against him. So a great finish to that one. The OT in games one and three. Ladle Boys coming out victorious in all three games. And I mean, other than game two, they were both uh, all three. Sorry. Other than game two, they were one goal game. So it's not like they really blew them out. They played better in game two. But they put up a really good fight. MK2 definitely should be proud of their performance here. But we're going to see Little Boys go on to face the number two seed, Crossbars, tomorrow night. Oh, that's going to be a fun one. I've heard a lot about the Crossbars. And from what I see from the Little Boys, yeah gonna be a spicy matchup but uh these games here i can see this series in another parallel universe easily go into game five i mean mk2 just barely let their lead slide by towards the last few seconds of games one and game three they could have easily had those games if they had just held their own for a little longer but instead ladle will take it in three yeah, I think one thing, if we see MK2 clean up their rotations, I think that they will definitely be able to come out on top. They, The biggest thing was we just saw the double commits. Uh, Ladle Boys did a great job. Their passing was beautiful. They had some really good plays off the back wall, and the rotations were really clean. They had some great speed, and that's what really struggled MK2. They were having issues getting the ball through the midline. They were having issues really getting settled on offense, and it all comes down to the track trust and the rotations that's really what it came down to in this one uh i mean and they put up a good fight so they show that they're a good team even though they got swept they only lost by one and two goals uh so it's definitely definitely don't be disheartened if you're any of the mk2 esports guys